The most exciting thing is when you know you have the eureka moment in the lab, you find the gene, you understand something new that hasn't been seen before. You know, those moments are priceless. I'm a child psychiatrist and a human geneticist. I see patients and I run a laboratory that is focused on identifying the causes of autism, Tourette syndrome, and other childhood uh, neurodevelopmental disorders. As I started taking care of kids um, with serious psychiatric illness, it became clear how little we knew about these complex disorders. And the disorders are very complex. They've been very frustrating because of the level of complexity of the brain. The idea from the start as a clinician was to use genetics as a window into the biology of the disorders. And we're finally, I think, making significant progress. What we're trying to do is specifically to identify genes that contribute to these disorders. So if we can understand the genetics, we may be able to understand brain development. If we understand brain development, we might begin to understand the complex interplay of environment and experience with genetics. And it gives us some concrete ability to, to treat kids who are severely affected uh, in the near term. Investing in research is tremendously important. It helps people know that there's a path forward. It helps get the best and the brightest. The Brain and Behavior Research Foundation is invaluable in the field. This is our lifeblood. Without grant support, we don't move forward. We don't have labs. So they keep our research going. They bring new people into the field. They replenish the field. Having this kind of award, recognize commitment to science and, and to science in child psychiatry is really a wonderful thing and, and tremendously helpful.